Workers inside a former hotel turned homeless transition center are talking about what they've witnessed. The city of Long Beach confirmed 20 people from that facility have died over the past three years. Good evening, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson. And I'm Colleen Williams. The uh, workers say someone needs to be held accountable for this. They spoke with our McCullum Medina, who is live at the facility right now. Mac. Well, guys, both are caseworkers who were hired by the former operator. They help uh, transition folks into permanent housing. Both say that this became a problem when they realized eight of their clients died within a year. And both say after the first three back-to-back -back deaths, they started raising red flags not only with their bosses, but the city who owns this former hotel, and nothing was done for months. Well, you consistently see people die in the workplace that you know that could have been prevented, that, that's a feeling that doesn't go away. DeAndre Beckham and Daniel Dominguez says they are haunted by the deaths of eight people from December 22 to November 23. They tried to help here at Project Home Key facility on Long Beach Boulevard. Six of those people were direct clients to Danya. As soon as I walked in, I just knew, you know, you could just see lifelessness in his body. The two case managers say for months they alerted the supervisors at Illumination Foundation, the nonprofit that operated the facility, and Long Beach homeless manager Paul Duncan of the high death rates and the dire need for medical and drug addiction assistance to save lives. We made it a point to meet with the higher ups. We made it a point to meet with Paul Duncan. We expressed our issues, we expressed our concerns, we let him know the amount of people that were dying within the facility. He got very political. He didn't give us any straightforward answers. And even, even to just going in depth with it, kind of laughed us off. We reached out to Duncan for a response today and have not heard back. But last week, he referred to us this statement released by the city of Long Beach, confirming that a total of 20 people that had been at the facility died since March of 2021. The city only releasing cause of death data for the last two years, which shows some died from overdoses and blunt force injuries. The statement went on to say, we mourn every person who died. The city also confirmed that it prioritized people who are older and people with chronic or terminal health conditions to be placed in the facility since it opened. DeAndre and Danya say that shows the city knew these people needed more help than just housing. You had one medical assistant for over 100 people. That's not even there 24 7. We've been unable to confirm the staffing levels at the facility, but emails obtained by NBC4 show that the city was also alerted of the need for more medical and drug addiction assistance by Illumination Foundation executives, but the city raised concern over costs. Danya says in the end, she believes that costs lives. We're told that our client that passed away in July was missing the flesh from his jaw. So that speaks to the fact that he had probably been, uh, had passed away for a while. Danya left the facility in December after DeAndre was fired following what they described as a heated meeting with Illumination Foundation CEO to address their concerns. We reached out to Illumination Foundation for comment last week and again today, but have not heard back. Illumination Foundation ended their contract with the city in February, and a new nonprofit, First to Serve Incorporated, has been hired to operate the facility. For DeAndre, he hopes speaking out now will lead to changes for the people he left behind. We felt like we had a duty and a responsibility to those people that we've seen as family to try to put them in the best conditions as possible. Now, Danya has since returned to, to the facility working with a temporary company. We did reach out to the city again today to see if there would be any investigations into the conduct or to see if anybody would be held accountable. We referred back to their statement. We also reached out to Mayor Rex Richardson's office for response today. His office did refer us back to that statement and also sent an email link to an article about the number of housing that was provided by Long Beach, but there was no reference to any accountability in these 20 deaths. In Long Beach, I'm McCallum Medina, NBC4 News.